Hey everybody, it's Jeremiah here, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a brand new Bloody Roar Extreme set. However, this won't be recorded at the same time as I am playing. I am going to be post commentating this match against Ghost26, who is starting off with Long while I stick with Fang. Let's get started on the first match and see what's going on. Alright, Light guarded that dash attack. Got a counter hit Wrecker. Slid under his air recovery, got him out of ankles. Faked out the guard attack, got an evade. Get off of me. Alright, I hit him with a cross up right there. Got a counter hit fuse stance move. Untrue combo. Tried to get the back attack, didn't work. He got record counter hit. Good duck. Good light guards. Uh, unfortunately, I moved and got counter hit right there. And I can air recover that since I'm not close to the wall. I got back attacked, unfortunately. That's gonna die. That's gonna die? Well, that fang is gonna die, or get KO'd rather. Um, got some sidestepping going on here. Uh, I was trying to do a few stance move, but I should have expected that low beast attack. Got a counter hit. Uh, forward punch, forward kick. Good evade on that. Got a back down punch. Double hit at that. Oh, uh, he was in a low profile, so that did a lot of damage. Got a guard break. Quarter circle forward grab. Jump cancel. Wrecker. Guaranteed combo right there. Uh, what I tried to do was actually Wolfgang soap him so he didn't have any meter left to transform because the thing is with Ghost 26 when he plays he doesn't he rarely ever like normally transforms so what he does instead is just use long strings like right there for example just to transform into the beast form which isn't really like good in my opinion because it could you know it could get you popped like that. That wasn't a counter hit, so that actually did very low damage. That did very little damage. Even for even, even for me being in human form, that did little damage. Tried to get a counter hit forward punch forward kick, but it didn't work. Got a tick throw after the double jab. Low kick conversion. Gotta get up, get up attack. I couldn't hit him with the pursuit. Got him with the crescent moon. Get out of here with that. That's not gonna work. Especially since I'm not close to the wall. Counter hit, uh, standing beast back attack. That was very weird. Got some heavy guards in case he tries to follow up with any guard breaking attacks. Got a quarter circle forward grab. Not gonna work since I am not close enough to the wall. That's what you're gonna see a lot um, during this playthrough, at least when he's playing as long. Right now, try right now what I'm trying to do is get a guard break. That was really random, but, you know, it worked. There goes my ankles. Same string. Ugh. This guy doing strings. Alright, what's next? Oh, that was bad. I don't know why he did that. Got hit by the get-up attack. We both went for a few stance move, but I did manage to avoid that. Thanks to the air recover to the side and the additional air evade. Alright, we got a 3 PP. Oh shit. Quarter second forward grab. Mm, counter hit 3 PP. Low sweep. Normal grab. I'm taking that. I'm evading the transformation. Quarter second forward grab. What's the follow up? Got the overhead. Got the pursuit. He wasted meter. He didn't have to do that, but I guess he wanted to do it to restore health. What I should have did right there was drop kick from behind. That would have killed him for sure. He texts the crouch grab. I'm evading this. I tried to get a counter hit forward punch. Didn't work. Got the evade back grab. Give me get 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 get. I sound like freaking Porky the Pig. <laughs> get that out of here. Now on to round two. People think that long strings are combos, but they're actually not. They're easily avoidable, especially in BR three, and even BR two to some extent, because. Long's popularity really comes from Bloody Roar 2, because that is like the most popular Bloody Roar game, probably next to Bloody Roar Primal Fury. Um, but yeah, when Long does his strings, man, people interpret it as combos, but they're actually not combos. This is looking like a perfect. Yeah, it's a perfect. He didn't get touched once. Um, but yeah, uh, those strings are easily avoidable in Bloody Roar 2 if you guard escape them, as well as. Um, just, you know, the long AI typically, you know, just presses buttons. He just does strings. You can avoid the strings just by light guarding and guard escaping at the correct time. With the right timing, of course. Same thing. 
That was a good low block on my part, but that was also a good grab tech on his part. Once again, another grab tech. At this point, I'm realizing what he's gonna do. He could charge his meter, but I have the advantage and I'm just slowly approaching him as he fills up meter. Yeah, that was kind of predictable. Now, I don't know why he didn't back grab, because that would have been guaranteed. I heavy guarded that, so I wouldn't get in my guard broken and then get hit with that stupid string against the wall. Alright, got another light guard. Give me this. Try to get him with the crescent kick. Normal throw. Back in here before. Oh, excuse the yawning. And there it is, I'm dead. Oh. Yeah, whenever you're close to a wall, that string is guaranteed. That's a guaranteed conversion. That jump was interesting. I don't even remember that happening, but he did. He definitely did it. And there it is. He's taking advantage. I'm pretty sure this was a perfect. Yeah, this was a perfect. I didn't touch him here. And he also didn't get touched once during that. And then it with a 8P. Counter hit dash attack. Got a low punch, tried to get a guard attack with the back punch, didn't work. We got a 1P1K, didn't work. Alright, my meter's full, that means hyper's coming out, I'm heavy guarding that, you are not getting me with that. We got a slide, any cancel point, guard attack, cancel. Oh, we got a 3B to an axe kick. And just more heavy, heavy hit stun, heavy block stun moves. We got him with the mix. Because of any cancel point being, well, what it is, any cancel point... I can stay in Hyper Beast whenever I'm, even if my meter's gone down, um, until I'm in recovery frames. If I'm in recovery frames, then that means that uh, I will revert back to human out of my Hyper form. And since he's in human, that wasn't guaranteed near the wall, since, you know, the proportions are different and the hitboxes, the hitboxes uh, slightly changed. So that's why that string didn't work. But now that he has meter, I know he's waiting, yup, yup, he's, yup, he was waiting to convert strings in this beast form. It didn't work though. I canceled that um that record pressure. Oh that was really good. Yeah, down punch, jab jab that was a down punch into a standing high punch, a double high punch into a forward grab. He was in a blender situation right there. Now we're gonna take it to the back alley versus his Yugo, which you will see kick kick quarter circle forward kick stance punch 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 guaranteed 11 to 12 hit string right there he's trying it but i'm just light guarding it because you know it's predictable at this point um up oh, there it is right there 12 hit just what i mentioned as you can tell guys commentating bloody roar is not easy and it's a lot happens so it's best to just kind of give yourself a break in between certain things happening within the match all right stage transition is here he didn't get a proper conversion i got the wrecker I got Gar uh, Garbrook right there from Yugo's uh, quarter circle back beast, uh, down beast follow up. And since he was pressing buttons, I took advantage to I took advantage of the fact that I was still in hyper and took him out of his beast form. So now we're just about even in terms of meter resources, but not in terms of health. I don't remember how this actually played out, but he's adding a lot of pressure to me. I don't want you to grab me. Another grab tech. Yeah, I'm just light guarding it. There's no point in heavy guarding it because that's just gonna, that's just gonna give me more block stun, and I don't need that. That was very random. In fact, I would argue that that wasn't even safe because what I could have done right there instead of going for a grab was just jabbing him, which would then turn into an anti air. He dropped his combo. I know what he tried to do. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Got a jump cancel after the quarter circle forward slide. Got an air evade. Got the counter hit back standing beast attack. Standing back beast, excuse me. Got an anti-air. He messed that up. I know he was expecting a slide. That's why he was crouched. So I went for the crouch grab. He texts it. Got another 12 hit. Guaranteed. Free. That was bad on my part. Alright, we stuffed him a bit. Got some counter hits going on. Alright, I got my meter. I saw that coming. Decided to transform. Thankfully, the radius was big enough. Tried to land. I landed with the beast kick. That was a very weird clash. Hope we all let it rock like Howard. Got a drop kick. That was pretty risky, but it worked. Tried to get the drop kick on him. Uh, the I tried to get the pursuit beast attack. My bad. 
um, with Fang. See, I thought he would get up attack, which is why I didn't go for the pursuit. I don't know why he did that beast drive. Because I I definitely would have evaded it or heavy blocked it for sure. So he basically wasted meter, but it's okay. I'm back in human, so maybe it was worth it. Maybe it was a um, blessing in disguise. Got some low punches. Oh, grab tech. Get off me. Don't touch me. Yeah, I got two counter hits. He still went for that, even though he got counter hit twice. That's crazy. That was a good back kick. Back standing, uh, back turn, back kick. Standing kick. Because there's a back standing high and back standing heavy. I mean, back standing high and back standing low when your back is turned. Whether it's with beast attacks, punch attacks, or kick attacks. You have options in this game. Yeah, that's not guaranteed. Yeah, that was a bad uh, up kick. Tatsumaki got a counter hit, kick, kick. Right now, what I'm trying to do is get my hyper meter, but unfortunately, I couldn't do it. And he takes the round with the knee. And continuing the strings of attacks that he misses with that follow-up. Because after that uh, 6-6-K, you can do the, um, the punches afterwards. You got a counter hit off of the kick after the forward punch. Also, I want to preface that Yugo is not Fang and Fang is not Yugo. They are completely separate characters, different characters. You, uh, Fang just shares the same moveset as Yugo from Bloody Roar 1 slash 2. And Fang is his own character. Alright, I got a full meter, so I decided to go hyper. That was a mistake. Not bad, just a mistake. Probably wondering what's the difference. Well, it would have been bad if my gauge was low, my beast gauge was low, so I used hyper correctly, optimally, but unfortunately, I wasn't prepared for what was to come after that, which is what resulted in him getting them a uh, match off. Oh, round off, my bad. He dropped it. I decided not to air recover, figured it'd be safer. Good jabs. That was a good... Uh, what is it? 1pp? Now, just as I predicted, I was going to transform and cross up. Not cross, Maybe not cross up, but hop over him at least. And I got him with the 4b. The 4b is actually really good for counter hit and guard breaking. Well, maybe not so much guard breaking because then you could get punished if they uh, quick recover out the guard break. But back beast in general, generally, in my opinion, is a good move. For getting people that want to crouch. As well as people that want to just press buttons. That was a good evade. Got the counter hit down, punch, punch. At least the second hit. Nobody really ever expects the second hit that much. Right now, I'm trying to get a guard break. I got a counter hit forward punch, forward kick. Thankfully, I evaded that drop. Uh, slam dunk. Or dunk. Forward punch aerial move. Got him with the quarter circle forward kick. Uh, uh. Oh, keeping the pressure on. All right, we got a low grab. Got the roll into the beast. Avoided his drop kick, hit him with my drop kick, tried to go for the overhead or guard break. The guard break definitely would have killed, considering that he's inhuman. Read the transformation, got the crouch grab. That would have been really cool if I got that, but ended up behind him. I don't know why he did that. I don't know why he tatsumaki or up kicked. But it's 2 1 right now. He could bring this back. I don't know why I'm saying that as if I don't know the outcome of this fight, but whatever. That's, that's besides the point. right got a clashed forward kick also if you hear a slight weird sound that's just my coat i'm wearing my coat right now as i'm commentating this got some reka pressure not reka excuse me stance pressure from the punches that's also not guaranteed unless you absolutely time that string right got a counter hit up kick try to go for the quarter circle forward beast Neck bite attack for a counter hit, but it didn't work. Got him with the Wolfgang Silver. You don't need that meter. It's the end. Now we are back at the back alley. Or rather, we are back at the alley. Got a forward throw. Good quarter circle forward grab. I'm gonna transform. I'm gonna light guard all that. Well, and evade some of it. Or a bit of it, rather. Okay, 
What's next? Gotta counter his slide. I'm jumping over you. I'm wall jumping. I'm evading that. I'm gonna claw you up. I'm gonna claw you up. Don't do that. I'm gonna counter hit you with the forward punch. I'm gonna jump castle. I'm gonna hit you with that beast that beast kick. Get off me. Try to go for the overhead. Didn't work. Got the quick. Re I managed to quick recover that guard break, so he didn't take me out my beast form. But that, uh, what is it? That one P on his side is three P. So I don't want to, you know, get the notations wrong. But since he is on that other side, I would have to probably say it respectively. Use the numbers respectively. Anyway, transformed. He got hit since he was crouched. Got a back beast guard break into a low grab. Or a crouch grab. Get off me. Low jab. Now, what I wanted to do right there was actually get him with the Wolfgang Silver so that he had no meter. So that neutral was even to some degree, but uh, it didn't work. He got me with the quarter circle forward beast attack. <sighs> that few stance to that quarter circle forward grab was actually interesting. Don't rarely see people do. I don't. I don't see people do that too much. I'm trying to reposition myself. Got him with the the knee and the punch follow ups. The punch follow ups always manage to land somehow, even though they're pretty reactable. But sometimes I go for that just for the, the just for the sake of mixing it up. It's good on counter hit. The knee is good on counter hit, simply for um making them twirl in the air so that they can't air recover. But you know that rarely happens in a match. That was an interesting interaction. What I like to do is take advantage of the walls on the stage and mix up my movement. That would have killed, but it did it. <sighs> Excuse me. Got a quarter circle forward grab, punch into a jump cancel beast kick. That's gonna give me the second round. Here we are in round three. Rapid, rapid, rapid. Get off me. I read that. Now I'm doing beast punch 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 because that's a really good string. Instead of doing beast beast since the moves the move slower, just do one beast attack and do the punches afterwards. All right, he's back in human. Got to counter his slide to all those pursuits. Try to go for the overhead, didn't work. He heavy blocked it. Got the jab after the slide. At this point, I'm expecting a slide. He tried to mix it up, knowing that I was expecting the slide, but I light guarded that. Regardless, he's gonna transform. Got the slide. Try to go for the beast attack. Or special. Didn't work. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, avoided it. Try to go for the crouch. I should have went for... I, my, my reaction to do that back grab was really slow. I don't know why I waited that long. Because I was expecting a... Okay. So I was actually expecting a standing beast back attack, but it didn't come out. Oh, no. He didn't take that. Yeah, he did an unsafe string, and he got one, two, three'd. Now he's going to go Udiko. The other character you guys know that I play. He probably should have stuck with Yugo or Long. I think, honestly, that Ghost should stick to Yugo or Long. Because the way this Uriko plays is very linear. And what I mean by that is exactly what you just witnessed right there. He's going to do the quarter circle forward grab. And he's going to do a string without uh, canceling that kick. Which puts him at a great disadvantage. I got the hyper. Surprisingly, he didn't hyper right there, even though he had a full meter. Because typically what Ghost does is he hypers when his meter isn't full. Which means that he basically self-destructs by depleting his health. So I was surprised to see that he didn't hyper right there, but... Yeah. Got a counter hit. Transform. That right there. That 6 PPP. In beast form is actually a really good string for pressure and you're, you're guaranteed to get a guard break that was a good anti-air on my part but that's the thing he only does that um he really only does that like right there for example and he tried to do a guard attack even though i wasn't near him to get hit that was good spacing on my part right now i'm just staying away because i don't want to be near him Yeah, that's a high crusher, that move that he's doing. That's 3 PP. It's actually really good, and you can cancel it. Uh, however, no, 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 not 3 PP, excuse me. It's, uh, I think it's 1 PP, my bad. It's 1 PP. 
It's one PP. That was a good up kick on my part. Try to get the drop kick in case he jumped again. Good evades on this part. Got the guard break. Guard attack. Yeah, I'm keeping my spacing right now because I know that's all he's going to go for. He's doing strings. Trying to get counter hits. I'm evading that. Still got counter hit though. So even if you do manage to avoid the guard breaking attack, you can still get counter hit from the next uh, couple of hits. Which will suck. Yeah, he's just pressing stuff. I'm beast running away. Well, I'm using the beast run, which is 3B. Try to go for the double slide. Didn't work. I'm heavy guarding all of that and evading that guard attack. I don't want it. You can keep it. Bop, beep, bop. And that's going to be it for the last match in this set. But yeah, guys, thank you all for watching. Those were the six games of Bloody War Extreme for this match on February 4th, 2022. Hope you all have a good one. And I'll catch you guys in the next set or upload in general whenever, if ever. Peace.